Alec Don declare Leon of APC as a winner of Bayelsa governorship election. Nigerian Bar Association don't criticize Kogi governorship election. And Cardinal lecturers where kidnappers been carried don't escape. Super Eagles beat Lesotho to top Group L for 2021 AFCON qualifiers. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazubia Max TV. This na as it take happen. My name na Adati Omukwe. For inside the first story where we carry come, I like now don't come out to come declare Sina David Leon of APC. Now he win the governorship election for inside by Yelsa State. The returning officer and the vice chancellor of University of Benin will be Professor Faraday Oruese. Now he announced this one on Monday morning. Leon gets a total of 352,552 votes, where him take win, and a great be say, do a diary of PDP gets 143,172 votes. As a matter B, we hear say some big been happen for inside the election as a cuckoo thief ballot boss for some area. Our Wazobia Max TV to person will be keen it. It's for Bayosa, and as it be so, it will come give us more to read on top of this one. But we'll go sharply enter the next story, then we'll go later hook up with Kenneth to give us story for waiting the happen for Bayosa. Inside the next story where we carry come, President Mama Dubari now they congratulate David Leon where he say INEC just declared as the winner of Bayelsa State Governorship election. For inside one talk paper with Femi Adeshina will be the special assistant to the president on top media being carry come. President Mohamed Dubari still they hail APC supporters for inside the state where vote even as some kind be happen for there. And the talk paper still yan say we press it do now they wait to work with the new government to better the lives of Bayelsa people. We shall probably come out from inside that one, enter Kogi State. As the matter be now, I neck don't come out to come talk, say the election for inside Kogi West Senatorial District, they inconclusive. That one I say they never get winner on top of that election. As it announced this one on Sunday, the returning officer now of INEC, Professor Olayin De Lawal, he talks the difference now between these two candidates now, in order to reach for them to come declare one person as winner. In Yance Smart Ademi of APC get 80,118 votes and say now 59,548 votes now in Dino Melaye of PDP get. And in see Yance the difference now can be 20,570 votes. And still on top of the matter, Professor Lawa can explain say the number of votes now can low past the 43,127 voters where BC register for inside 53 center for inside the state. So as the matter being at the yan say, they go still sit down, make them fix another date where BC say they go do extra this election so that they go fit select winner. We shall probably run come up from inside that one, enter the next story. Still for inside Kogi State. INEC don't start now to the gather results of the governorship election for inside Kogi State. The returning officer for the election and vice chancellor of Amadou Bello University, Zaria, Professor Ibrahim Umar, in a, he don't been announced on Sunday for inside Lokoja, say we make party agents them and other political stakeholders where they for the INEC office where they said they collect all these results them. So make them, they will continue by nine o'clock today. Him explain say the announcement they very necessary. Sake of say the election results them for two local governments will remain. Say they never carry and come the coalition center. We will join our Wazobia Max TV to person Philip Mwili for inside the local job. Make it forgive us to read of waiting they happen for inside the coalition centers them. Good morning, Phil. Well, um, okay. good morning, Ada. Um, as I talk to you now, you will see the nice side, the collation center, where they just announced results for the Kogi State governorship election. And the return on officer talks to um, the APC candidate, really, the governor. Governor Yahaya Bello say now him win the election, saying get the total vote of 406,222. While the PDP candidate engineer Musa Wada, when he be the main challenger, 
189,704 votes. As you know, yesterday, um, Wada talked to me before him began travel out of local Jai Toxin, no region, you know, accept the results when then they collect as from yesterday. Say the tea show say guru guru day inside. Say they still the vote when go give people give them. So it's saying go go court, go challenge them. As I they talk to you now, uh, people all over local jar come there. We never hear of any incidents that we sit there inside INEC uh, collection center. As if I finish this report and I did do now, we will go the streets of Lokoja to see how people they react to this announcement. Say Governor Yahya Belo don't be the win second term for office. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Fee. And now on our to repressing for inside the local jar as they give us all the things where we say they happen for the collection center we day for local jar. We go sharply come up from inside that to re enter the next one where we carry come. Nigeria Bar Association now don't they condemn Saturday governorship election for inside the Kogi state. They even say it did not get better election standard. And at this one, nine day for inside the 20 page report where we say the NBA election working group carry come on Sunday. Where we say now the chairman, uh, Afam Osigwe, been lead for there. They even say the election process no go well at all at all. Sake of say matter of harassment, intimidation, and plenty uh, electoral matter will be happen for inside the day. Even plus the tiffin of ballot box them and uh, many other things will be happen. As the matter be, they thought they get as the election be. And reports still here and say the plenty big way happen. Now in scatter the process. And as the matter be, then talk say the election for inside the Kogi, it failed to meet the minimum standard of better election. The NBA now come the and say them get hope, say things now go their ground to make sure say this kind of thing, you know, go happen again. We come out from inside that one, still enter another story where resemble that one. European Union now still don't come out to come, they condemn the report of the one where BC plenty began been happen for inside by Yelsa and Kogi state election. For inside the talk paper, the Yan says some of their team use their eyes, see plenty things will happen for inside Kogi state. Then report to talk say people won't for dear for inside the election and say some INEC workers now they miss. They come the young, give all the people where BC get mouth on top election matter. Say, make them tell security agencies them. Say, make them touch light all this matter where we And say, make them catch all the people where get hand for inside all the badness things where happen for inside this election. Make we remember, say, the diplomatic watch been sent the people from Austria, the European Union delegation, Germany, Ireland, the United Kingdom, and United States to put eye for inside Kogi and Bayelsa election on November 16th. And for inside the next story, as the matter be so, we hear say kidnappers been carried two lecturers about 10 days ago for inside Kaduna State. The lecturers named Adamu Chinoko from Amadubelo University, Zaria, and Umar Chinoko from Kaduna Polytechnic. We hear say these two people now don't escape, come off from the place where BC kidnappers keep them. The talk talk person of KB people where BC that they live for inside Kaduna, he named Nagarba Muhammad. Now he confirmed this one where BC happened on Sunday. Gariba Yan said the two lecturers now come show face for the palace of Wakil in Serikin Zuru Kaduna on Sunday. Gariba Yan said the two lecturers now where BC then kidnap. So one of the lecturers will be Umar, being go give the kidnappers two million naira ransom where BC then they ask for, plus including motorcycle. As he can't reach there now, now they can't request for another 5 million Naira ransom. And as the matter be, they still request for another 10 million Naira where no, where they no can't fit to give them. Where we say they can't kidnap two of them. So as the matter be, the lecturers don't come out now, come here and say, now security people now help them. Now he can't help them to escape. Cardinal State Police Command now come here and say, they don't confirm this one where really happened. And we go sharply come up from inside that to re enter the next one. Out of the matter of illegal detention centers, then where we say security people they see for inside different, different states for inside we country. Nigerians now don't come out to come, they call for plenty care and sensitization so that they go fit to help people where they suffer from drug matter. President of Mandate Health Empowerment Initiative, Ame Zion. He they call to make the government now do more investment them and plenty sensitization to really address this matter at the BC treatment centers not today. 
One of the approaches that I think will work well, and we, we, we will like to see how we can encourage the government, you know, to also look towards that direction to increase awareness. Let, let people, let users, you know, also understand that you do not just want to see them as criminals, but you also want to see them as Nigerians, as human, right? And then try to come up with knowledge, try to come up with educational uh, awareness for them. Let them understand, sensitize them on this drug issue. Let them understand what are some of the implications around this drug. I mean, how does it affect their health? How does it affect their person? How does it affect their productivity? How does it affect them even achieving their aims? How is it affecting their family members? How is it affecting their society? Let them understand some of these things. And I can tell you, some of these guys will really want to come out of it. And it's just, just a long process that can't be handled. Still on top of the matter, another country person, Sabrina Osman. She talks, say the main thing where busy people where they suffer from drug really need sinner care. If about that is people who use drugs. Um, from research, we come to discover that some of them need love, they need care, not to be treated like criminals, just like we see in our society today. So if family members can take a step forward to like show care and understanding, you know, put themselves in their shoes. I think it will curb this menace a great deal. Emmanuel Stonde, see and say sensitization, now the key as it will help to reduce people where they say they suffer from drug wahala. It creates awareness for people to understand these things. You know, it's because they don't understand. That's why they think, ah, they push these people. But when they get the awareness, they begin to develop that will to, you know, bring these people to themselves and to assist them. Because the once the people who are the, the drug, those who are drug abusers, why once they see people in their family, their friends, trying to help them, it will, it will encourage them more than outside people. And for inside another story, Asibiso, the acting commandant of the Nigerian Army School of Public, Public Relations, Major Olabisi Ayeni, he talks in now the one to workshop on top capacity building of directors of Army Public Relations, commanding officers and defense correspondents for inside media today. As it be so, I only talk this one for inside the Lagos. And in the the workshop now, where we say you go hold for inside the 81 Division Officers Mess near Onikan Stadium for inside Lagos. Say the title now, Interagency Corporation in Nigeria, the role of public relations officers. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukor Buratai, he go show face for there now as special guest of honor. And the young saying go deliver the lead lecture. As a matter B, we will come out from inside that story. Enter business when we come back. And for inside business, Obonge government now don't come out come talk say they don't pay 500,000 graduates then where be say they do end power program. They say now 360 billion naira, nine they pay for inside two years. As a matter be, the young give to we people on Sunday for inside Abuja. The senior special assistant to be president on top social investment programs will be Ismail Ahmed. He young said then start to the pay since 2016. Him say through the Empower program, they don't employ like 500,000 graduates and they don't pay the graduates like them 30, 30,000 every month. In Yan say this one now, where say they did do. Say you don't give like 622,000 people, 5,000 5, naira each. And say now the poor people, where say they don't get anything to give bank to take collect money, now they, they do this one for. Oga made the and say the trader money program, it don't really impact well on top of small, small business where they for inside the country. We still will come back with sports, no go anywhere. And for inside sport, 
The Super Eagles now don't beat the Crocodiles of Lesotho 4-2 for inside the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers. As the matter be so, Lesotho being lead for inside the 13th minute before Alex Iwobi can score for the Super Eagles. Another goal now can come from Victor Osimen and from Chukweze where he say he can't give the Super Eagles better three points. As the matter be, we hear say Nigeria now will play Syria alone next year as in top group L. The Super Eagles now the target to appear for the 19th time for inside the tournament after they don't win their eighth bronze medal for the 2019 edition for inside Egypt. Now all the Tori them be this as it take happen, but before we go, make we still look all our top Tori them again for this. <music> INEC don't declare Leon of APC as the winner of Bayelsa governorship election. Nigeria Bar Association don't criticize Kogi governorship election. And Cardinal lecturers where BC kidnappers carry, they don't escape. Super Eagles don't beat Lesotho to top group L for inside the 2021 AFCON qualifiers. Now all the Tori them be this as it take happen and make you still remember saying so inside Wazobia Max TV 90 day. My name is Adati Owupe. On a good afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.